Hello everyone, and welcome back again. Well here today in this video, we'll be testing out a new Windows emulator for Android. And yes, it's a Vectris emulator, which you can emulate Windows, Linux, and even other systems on this. So anyways, let's start the video. And this is known as Vectris VM-based Android, which is available on its official GitHub page. It's a virtual machine app for Android, which is based on Kamu, has capability to run React OS, XP, 7, Kali Linux, and LOT, even Windows 11 in upcoming version. Anyways, here are the minimum required specs of at least Android 5 or above with 3 gigs of RAM, and also Snapdragon 450 or higher. And these are the recommended specs with Android 11 or above, with Snapdragon 720G or above. Also keep in mind, currently it's not working on the latest Android 14 because it's still in beta stage. Currently we have 2.7 build, simply go to assets. Here you can see there are different versions based on ARM architecture. My phone is based on Exynos ARM 64-bit based chip. So download package, or if you are using 32-bit Android or x86-64 based, then choose them. After that, install application. Make sure you need to enable permission in order to work. Open Vectris app. Sign in as guest. Here, as you can see, there are a lot of VM files available, starting with Windows DOS version to 10. We have Linux-based VMs, Mac OS VMs, Android VMs, and other virtual disk images. Anyways, here I want to try with Windows 8.1 version based on x86. Simply choose it. Select Import. Download image file. The VM files are directly available here, so download. After that, select Import. Import the download VM file. That's it. Starts import to BIOS virtual machine. And finally, it's done. Now go to Settings. Leave these settings as usual. Here, if you want dark mode, you can enable. Now here, it's important to change Kamu settings. Here, choose processor you want. I choose Core 2 Duo. Enable custom memory. Set memory size to at least 2 gigs of RAM. Select CPU cores from 2 to 4. Leave the remaining settings as default. Now get back. Start the virtual machine. It takes almost like 15 to 20 minutes based on phone's performance. This is actually a 5-year-old Samsung device running on an Exynos chipset which is equivalent to a Snapdragon 680 as of now. Here there are some functions, like here. You can see the Windows boot log. You can set controls. Also the gamepad or key controls. As you can see, the boot started. Okay, getting devices ready. I think it take a bit more time. 20 minutes later. Meanwhile, I'm also trying this on my other phone with Windows 7. It's starting up to load some files. And guys, finally we booted Windows on our device. Actually, it struggled a lot. Lag during installation. Anyways, I recommend you try this. If your phone is powerful with Snapdragon 860 or above so that it loads things faster. Anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you like it. So please like, share, and subscribe for more interesting stuff. Thanks for watching.